Hi, this is Larry Schultz, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration of uh, IK Boost on a simple little rig here. You can see the bones in my little juice carton. There was a post on the New Tech forum, and somebody was asking about how they might um, animate a juice carton with a little bit of squash and stretch and so on. And so I thought it would be interesting to. to do a little demonstration of such a rig and like I said the bones are real simple I've got just a couple of leg bones in each side and then some spine bones going up in the uh, juice carton and then I've got um, and these I'm, I'm using joints rather than bones uh, and I'll explain why here in a second but um, what I can do is grab these I've got uh, these controllers down here at the bottom of the tips of the feet uh, fixed so that when I grab the body controller, so I can make the knees bend, flex, so to speak. Um, I've got this uh, controller at the very, very tip top of this bone here set up with a handle. So if I click off the top of this um, linear controller here, I can twist all the upper body bones. Uh, Additively, just with that one control. And then here, um, I've got this controller set to move mode rather than to rotate mode. So I can, since it's a joint, I can just stretch it around. So I've got that squash and stretch. So all very simple on the same rig. And then, <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to do a, a sort of a basic walk cycle with this and I'll pose this first set up like this so just kind of pull these forward for the, the one leg and the other leg backwards and I want to make it sort of a quick walk cycle so what I'm going to do is go here to frame 10 and then just sort of just reverse the pose on this like that okay so he's doing this and then I want to be able to repeat it at frame 20 so I'm going to go to frame 0 and then I'm going to go here to the dope track to frame 20 and right click and copy key from current and it copies the pose from the current frame I'm on here like that so I've got the basic keyframe set up and I want to go to 5 and I want to set 5 up so this guy is lifting like so then he comes back down and then the other leg is going to be doing the same thing on frame 15 sort of that passing pose let's see where we're at here Okay, I think we'll bring this one back just a little bit like that. So you get it cycling. Okay, and I also want to do this. So when it's over here, I want this to sort of twist the opposite way like that. Go to my next frame there, so that's cool. And twist the opposite way. Like so. And it's, then it's going to twist back to where it was. So again, I just want to do what I did before, make it easy on myself, and just copy key from current. 
so we're twisting and then I also just want to on here in this pose stretch this a bit comes down and stretch it a bit this way again and again just to make it easy let's just copy this key from current so nice little quick little walk he's bouncing around okay so now I want to do this for well, let's say 240 frames like so and I'm gonna I have, I have my key my keyframe mode set to all items which means everything that I was keying regardless of what I was touching is everything's getting a keyframe all the bones so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna right click and drag through here uh, let's do this first 10 so that's 10 20 30 so we go 25 so it's the passing frame is again 5 and since we're looping at 20 I'm going to say let's go from 5 to 20 I'm going to say copy keys frame 5 to frame 20 and we're going to paste it 25 all items hit OK so now we've got looping twice okay now something else I want to do <clears throat> I'm going to go here and I'm going to say that from 0 to about 10 for that foot is when that foot is planted on the ground that uh, pointy part right there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and drag through here and I'm going to put um, set bake spot okay 0 through 10 and I'm going to do go to the other foot and I'm going to say from 10 through 20 he's planted Okay, so 10 through 20. So I'm going to say set bake spot there. 10 through 20. Like so. And see how it leaves a little marker there? I can expand the marker out. I can move it, slide it, I can uh, pull these ends out. Okay and this is going to repeat so 10 through 20 and 30 through 40 Set bank spot. Okay, so 29, 30 through 40. Okay, and let's go back to this guy here. So 0 through 10. And then 20. to 30 to 
this one is doing it again. So let's go here. Set bank spot 20 through 30. Okay. So those are marking when the feet are planted. Okay. Now we, let's extend this out even further. So 40. And I'm going to go 5 through 40. Just to help myself remember, 5 through 40 is going through 40. It's going to be a patient at 45, so I can just go here through here. Copy keys. 5 through 40. Patient at 45, all items. And if you notice, it also copied the bake spots. Okay, so at 80, let's go to 85. And I'm going to say 5 through, 80, 5 through 80. Copy keys. Gets copied at 80 to 85. And see how it's easier to just to keep doing this. So we're at 160. Let's go to 165. And let's go 5 to 160. Copy keys. 5 to 160. Paste to 165. So I've got this whole thing cycling that many times. Let me just um, close this for a second. So you can see that. Okay, right now I'm off my uh, my bake spots. I put a couple of them in the wrong spot, but here's where I was talking about before. I can go and slide these over like so. And just keep doing that. So they're not set in stone when you do these. Okay. And let me switch feet. And these ones are all right. Okay, so I've got these. And I'm going to add a few, a couple more of these bake spots here. Hold on. Excuse me. And let's go here. Set bake spot. It's a little easier to do this. Um... when you, if you do it in the beginning before you loop them. But if you forgot to, if, if for some reason it didn't work right or you did, you screwed this up, then no biggie. Let's do this here. Okay. Set the bank spot. One eighty to one ninety. Okay. And let's go here. 
that bank spot 200 to 10 and uh, that bank spot Two twenty to two thirty. Okay, that's all I need. I think. So uh, let's uh, zoom out here. And so what we've got is about two hundred and something frames of our juice guy walking in place. And we've got these bake spots set up. So for cool with everything where we think all the timing is supposed to be, then I can go in here to the IQ Boost menu and go uh, auto bind. Now what that does when I do the auto bind is now he's walking forward. And let me just close the dope track. Isn't that cool? So got him strutting forward. So where, where, where I created each of the bake spots, it goes in there and determines that's the, that's the region for which it's going to lock that foot in place. And since the feet are being locked in place, it it takes the motion that were on the legs and shoves them up into the body. Now here's another cool thing. Here's the body. Okay. Change the mode to rotate. Let's go to the top view here. So here's where it's moving along. And let me just give you a better view here. Okay. So at some point, say here, I want it to turn, and I'm going to use auto apply. So what I can do is I'm going to change the heading, and look at change the path. So he's turning. I can bring him back so let's check it out so he's walking along turns change the direction again And if I have to, if there's a little bit of a slippage somewhere where I turned him, I can then do the auto bind. That's pretty cool. But this is just some of the things that IK Boost will do that are that it's, it's built in that's been are built into it. But this being able to change the path and everything after the animation's done and being able to extend the animation that far and lock the feet and all that stuff is really pretty nifty. Anyways, thank you for watching.